Hi friends, welcome to softwaretestingmaterial.com. In this video, I would guide you on how to explain test automation framework in the interview. First of all, let's see what is a framework. In simple words, we could define framework as a set of rules or best practices which we can follow in a systematic way to achieve the desired goals. Coming back to explaining test automation framework in the interview, you will be asked this question to know your experience with the test automation tools. You have to explain each and every component of your architecture. You have to specify right from the point of test automation execution to generating the reports. If there is a whiteboard or white sheet, then utilize it. You know why? It will be better if you draw all the components of your architecture and make connections between each other component with arrow keys while you are explaining the test automation framework. Go through this video completely and frame your own answer and get ready. You need to specify in and out of your test automation framework such as programming language. As you all know, Selenium supports multiple languages. So you need to specify which language you are using and type of a framework which you have used. There are many types of frameworks and major ones are keyword driven, data driven and hybrid framework. In my blog, I have clearly explained types of test automation frameworks. Check out the link in the description below. Test base class. Every framework has a base class. We do initialize WebDriver and implicit weights and loggers, reports, etc. in the test base class. So you need to give some stress on this part while explaining. Coming to element locators. Do your tests independent of element locators? You have to specify where you store all your element locators such as ID, XPath, CSS, whatever. If you are using page object model to separate element locators with tests, then clearly explain that. Nowadays, everyone is using page object design model to do this. We could also keep element locators in property files too. Just giving this for an idea, don't get confused, stay focused. Every project has some functions. But in most of the cases, we do separate functions as generic functions and project specific functions. Calling test data from the Excel sheet comes under generic function. More technically, we call it as utility functions. Property files. Details such as browser type, URL could be placed in property files. Also specify what are the test ng annotations you have used in case if you are using test ng. Also, you have to explain how you parameterize tests using Excel files. And how you capture error screenshots. And how you generate reports. And how you send the reports to your peers, like sending the email to your peers. And what is the version control you have used? like a Git or SVN whatever and continuous integration tools like Jenkins or Hudson if you use any you have to specify those things. Ask your interviewer to provide a white sheet to draw the architecture. Draw the project structure and explain clearly. Now I will explain every component in detail. Let's get started with the language. You can tell that in our Selenium project, we are using Java language. Even though Selenium supports multiple languages, we are using Java language in our project is just because most of the automation developers have knowledge on Selenium with Java. Type of framework. In our project, we are using data-driven framework by using page object model design pattern 
with page factory page object model as per the page object model we have maintained a class for every web page each web page has a separate class and that class holds the functionality and members of that web page we have separate classes for every individual test packages we have separate packages for pages and test scripts all the web page related classes come under pages package and all the tests related classes come under tests package all the tests are kept in the src test java and remaining files such as config.properties element locators utility files test data etc kept in src main java for example home page and login page have a separate classes to store element locators for the login test there would be a separate class which calls the method from the home page class and login page class test base class test base class deals with all the common functions used by all the pages this class is responsible for loading the configurations from property files initializing the web driver implicit weights extend reports and also to create the object of file input stream which is responsible for pointing towards the file from which the data should be read utility class we also call it as functions class it stores and handles the functions actually the code which is repetitive in nature such as weights actions or capturing screenshots or accessing excel sheets and sending emails these are the repetitive tasks these repetitive tasks can be commonly used across the entire framework these repetitive tasks we make it as a functions and we use entire framework the reason behind creating utility classes is to achieve reusability this class extends the test base class to inherit the properties of test base in test util properties file this file stores the information that remains static throughout the framework such as browser specific information application url screenshots path etc all the details which change as per the environment and authorization such as url login credentials are kept in config.property files keeping these details in a separate file makes easy to maintain screenshots screenshots will be captured and stored in a separate folder and also the screenshots of a failed test cases will be added in the extant reports test data all the historical test data will be kept in excel sheet by using this particular excel sheet we pass test data and handle data driven testing we use apache poi to handle excel sheets test ng we use test ng annotations for assertions grouping and parallel execution maven we are using maven for build execution and dependency purpose integrating the test ng dependency in pom.xml file and running this pom.xml file using jenkins version control tool in our project we use git as a repository to store our test scripts jenkins by using jenkins continuous integration tool we execute test cases on daily basis and also for nightly execution based on the schedule test result will be sent to the peers using jenkins extant reports for the reporting purpose we are using extant reports 
It generates beautiful HTML reports. We use the extent reports for maintaining logs and also to include the screenshots of failed test cases in the extent reports. Check out our video on how to generate extent reports in Serenium. Here we have clearly mentioned each and every step to generate extent reports in Selenium. You have to explain all these when you are asked to explain test automation framework in the interview. If you have any other thoughts on how to explain test automation framework, comment below in the comment section. Your inputs may help someone out there. For the complete Selenium tutorial, you can check our blog softwaretestingmaterial.com slash selenium tutorial. Thank you guys. See you soon in the next video.